Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. To it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we have a special kind of video for you. Yeah, we haven't done anything like this before, but this is totally the stuff we're into. Channel's a little bit of everything, so that's what we're bringing you. We definitely do a little bit of everything. So tell me what we got today. Uh, so we got our hands on some bulletproof drywall. So we wanted to put it to the test. So we got uh, a variety of firearms uh, going up from small calibers to higher calibers, and we're going to basically just put it to the test and see exactly what this bulletproof drywall will withstand. Um, I mean, you probably can't see it from here. You'll see it uh, later in the video. Half inch thick. Uh, yep, half inch thick. Uh, we got a giant sheet right here. We were cutting little plates for it and then uh, testing them individually one by one. Yeah, we're just, we got both the, the handguns and the long guns. Mm -hmm. uh, start all the way from, I think we got 22. down to a 22 up to a 300 mag. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, the big pistol. They are all unloaded, just so everybody knows. Yep, safety's safety a, first. Yep, safety's a good priority here. Unloaded, bolts are out. Yep. Uh, this is all just educational, guys. So I'm gonna advise just don't try it at home, or you know, we're we're not professionals, but we take as much precaution as we can to do it as safe as we can. We we do know how to shoot. We all took classes and have our permits and all we're supposed to have. For yep. It. Um, but yeah, this is just gonna be a fun experiment, just to find out. Since we got our hands on us, why not? Try it out, really. Yeah. I mean, it'll be fun. It'll yeah, be so uh, stay tuned. Yep. Doing that thing again. Alright, guys, so we took the first shot with the 22 uh, pistol here. You could see it's hit. And then if you look at the back here, nothing. Didn't Little even dimple. go through. Yeah, it's a slight dimple. I don't know if you can actually see it, but just slightly raised up. So we're still intact. We'll flip her around and... Uh, so the next size up. Yeah, was that nine? No, that's not the next size up, but that's the next size we're what going we up. Got, yeah. No, we'll do a 38. Okay. All right, guys, there's our second shot. You can see it here. You can see the bullet's still in there. 38 Special, that one was. It did stop it. Let's pull this off here quick. A little dimpling on that too, just like the 22, but slightly bigger. You can see it in there. The jacket's peeled off. And there's the bullet. So we're gonna go to the next one up. We're gonna go to nine millimeter. See what that does. So after the nine millimeter, we hit the same hole as the 22. And I'll show you the back here. Nothing went through. Nothing at all. Definitely a bigger bump, but as I said, it went through about the same hole as the 22. So you can see on the bottom there, it's starting to peel away. It's holding it all though. Yep. So now to a 45. All right, so 45 hit. Still didn't penetrate. We're looking at like a big bump now because all of the impact was right in the center. But as you see, not going through. We're a little cracked here, but still no problem. We shot this one twice with the 45. This was the second one. The first one almost hit the exact same hole as before. Still didn't penetrate, but you can definitely see it's all uh, bubbled up. So we're going to switch now to the 454 and see how it holds up. Yeah, that's the big boy. Yeah. I think that's like a step below the 500. All right, everybody, so we took a shot with the 454. We hit about the same spot as we were hitting before, so it did technically penetrate, but we're going to uh, grab another piece, get it cut, and then test it again with the 454 to make sure that it uh, failed only because we shot it a few more times. So fresh piece will let us know. So let's go cut it. All right, guys, this is the size panel we're cutting the pieces from. We have a couple of these to play with. We're going to cut another piece off and shoot it fresh with the 454 because that first shot, it, it kind of hit the same spot as all the other ones, so it did go through that. So we're going to cut this one off fresh piece and try it all over. There we go. 
All right, Jimmy One got the fresh piece cut. I put it up here. So as I said, we're just gonna redo the 454. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so 454, shot two on a fresh piece, no penetration. Let me tell you, it is bubbled like crazy. But uh, you could tell from the side angle here that it definitely would not take another shot. So it worked. This was a 454 from about 30 feet away, just to give you guys an idea. So it did stop it. So I'm impressed. That's a 300 grain bullet. It is the flat bullet. So, it, you know, some point. It's no armor through. piercing. We're all, we're all good. We're not uh, as high tech as Demo Ranch there, but I wish. All right, guys, I got another piece cut here. We didn't want to test a rifle with uh, an already shot piece. So a fresh one here. We're going to use a 243 long rifle, and uh, I'm about 98% sure it's going to go through. But... Uh, Maybe next we'll sandwich two together and see if it'll stop the rifle. That'll probably be a little bit closer chance. So let's get to it. All right, everybody. So uh, we tested with the 243 as I kind of figured too. It went right through it. Uh, it actually blew a little piece of it off and it just went completely straight through. Small little entry, big old exit. So we're going to uh, put two together and see if we can stop it. So we'll clamp it up and get going. All right, guys, here's the two plates that we had kind of offset from one another. It went through all those, no problem. And it delaminated another piece off of this one, wherever that's at. So, plus they weren't quite flat. So what we're gonna do is cut some more pieces. We're gonna stack them. We're gonna move up to the next one, 30 out six. So we're gonna stack like three to start with that one. Then we'll go to four. As many as we need to to stop. Uh, what do we got, a three, 300 mag? We're gonna shoot it with that, see if that stops them. So let's get those cut and we'll hang them up. All right, guys, we're gonna jump up to the 300. We were gonna use the 30 out six, but we already know it's gonna penetrate the plate. So we're just going straight up to the big caliber. We have four plates here right now lined up, clipped together, kind of just sitting here. We're gonna shoot right here and see if the 300 goes through all the plates or if it'll stop at one, two, or three. Damn. that was the four plates 300 mag 26 inch barrel uh, here's the entrance one you can see small little hole definitely went through went through that one went through that one the fourth one did stop it it dimpled really bad but it did stop it so i think the shell's got to be down here somewhere but it stopped it next we're going to try we're going down but we're going to try three plates with a 30 out six and see if that can go through it so let's get those set up All right, everybody. So we Please tested the 30 out six, three plates, and it did not go through the yeah, third. So first one went through, second one went through, and it stopped right in the third. We're bubbled here, but there was no penetration. I'd show you, but there's no reason to take the tape off. Tape's not punctured. So three plates stopped the 30 out six. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a lot of fun. It was definitely a bunch of fun, and some of the results were shocking to us. So yeah, I was pretty shocked. I mean, you can see the after or the, the results. I of like our, results. It's an educational test. Results of our uh, experiment. And a bunch of tape, duct tape holding it together. Um, so initial thoughts when we first started here. So yeah. when I saw this, uh, we all kind of took little bets of what it would and wouldn't stop. I was definitely thinking that this would stop a 22, uh, a 9, maybe a 45. But what really kind of blew my mind was it even stopped the 454, which is... This is not a small handgun. Yeah, this is for hunting, pretty much. 
it, it's a big one. It, it's and it stopped it. I, I was I was shocked. Yeah. So for one play actually stopping that, that is that performed higher than my expectations. I mean, this is pretty dense stuff. I mean, it, it's heavy for that little piece. Yeah. So uh, the rifles still even like to think three plates here was enough to stop a three hundred Win Mag, which is. It was four plates. Four? Oh, was it four? It, it didn't through go through three. The, it didn't go through. It the didn't fourth. go through the fourth. Right. Four plates. Still, that's that's pretty impressive, just amongst itself. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, just drop them below. Um, I'm more than happy to get back to them and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, if you did like the video, hit that yeah. thumbs up. That really helps us out. Subscribe, please. And share with your friends who might find this interesting, because uh, we're definitely watchers of Demolition Ranch and all that kind of stuff. So. That's like inspiration amongst itself for us. We love seeing all that stuff. I know sometimes the gun stuff on YouTube is taboo. That's why we don't put it in there a lot. But uh, we do still enjoy that kind of stuff. So exactly. We, we do a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's... with the channel, you're getting us. Like, we're not we're not changing or focusing on one thing. It is just the stuff we do yeah. from day to day. On a so. daily. So, yeah, like we said, any questions, any comments, put them in the comment section below. Uh, make sure, if you do subscribe, make sure that little bell's on so you guys can get notifications uh, when we upload a new video so you can kind of be the first to watch it. And I think that about sums it up. Yeah, we, like always, anything we use in our video, almost anything in this video, we'll put in the links in the, in the comment section. We probably won't to the, the guns, but like if you're interested in a shooting bag or the, the hearing protection or anything like that, we'll put links down here for you. Uh, any questions like we said hit us up. He'll get back to you pretty quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm like the he answers every one of them I'm the marketing person any of you guys have any questions at all I will be the guy that answers them and if I don't know the answers I ask him and if he doesn't know you bet I'm out there on the internet researching it to find you the or answer. somebody will tell us in the comment section exactly so um, Until so, next time. Yep. Try a little bit of everything try something new Broken